A notorious gang member in prison for 14 life sentences. So why was he almost let out of prison days ago? Well, News 3's Andrew Davis has been following this story from the beginning. Yeah, Christopher Murray actually may not be a name you recognize, but his boss is famous infamous here in Savannah. His boss is Ricky Jivens. Ricky Jivens sits in prison for the rest of his life right now for his crimes. Murray was sentenced to life, but still almost walked our streets just days ago without a last minute change. He, it was a little boy's birthday party and he took the money from the boy's birthday party and then stuck everybody into the refrigerated area. Um, and he was very proud of it and bragging. That's just one of the crimes Christopher Murray was convicted of in 1993. 40 different charges, armed robbery, kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon, some connected to a police shootout after that pizza robbery. After he was caught, Williams then said, quote, he could have had them cops if I really wanted them, but my SKS jammed. Judge Michael Carp sentenced him to 14 life terms plus 115 years, but in July of this year, he almost got out. The person, the judge, who um, was elected and put in place, listened to all the evidence and the victims and everybody and sentenced this defendant, gave him a sentence that's appropriate, and the Board of Pardons and Parole should adhere. Nothing has changed. Chatham County District Attorney Meg Heap's office protested that release just five days before it happened. The Board of Pardons and Parole says it canceled the parole after getting, quote, new information in the case. Keep says the board isn't using all the information they can get before deciding which violent criminals are released. And someone, you know, who is not here is making that decision where they decide that, well, life really isn't life. Life is what we're going to give you. Or, you know, five years isn't five, so we'll give you, you know, a year. Um, it, it's very frustrating. The board tells me that there is no overcrowding in the prison system. So I would say, then why don't we keep our murderers in there? Pardons Parole Board tells me they must provide, quote, meaningful consideration to parole eligible inmates. Murray himself was denied four times before this year. Heap says the board agreed to give prosecutors and families 30 days notice of any possible parole on violent criminals, but they've not followed up on that. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3.